Now in Lodi, it's no secret that people believe the homeless numbers is only getting worse. In fact, this year's point in time count showed a 50% increase in the homeless population from just two years ago. But the city is trying to make a difference by opening a brand new shelter today. ABC 10's Kurt Rivera shows us around. Off and on for the past two years, Russell Meish has been a shadow of himself. Sure. The 57 year old is a recovering meth addict whose life has gone way off track. I'm not a very good homeless person. Uh, being homeless is rough. But in this giant form manufacturing warehouse and under this circus like tent, Meish is hoping it may help turn his life around. The new city of Lodi $2 million facility is five years in the making. It's a one stop shop with 50 beds. These people are going to have the opportunity to transition to sobriety. They also have programs here where some of the residents will go out and help clean up the parks or clean up the east side of our town. Faith-based inner city action runs the new shelter with a goal of life coaching. And then from here, they're actually able to stay here, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and a shower, and we, and we give them rights to work and back, and we give them kind of a plan. You know, they say if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So we kind of give them a little bit of a life plan. Many times homeless people don't want to stay in shelters because they're not allowed to have their pets. But here at this so-called Lowberry shelter, they can't. Nowhere would take places with pets. And I would, re I, with, she's the reason why I kept going. And in about a year to a year and a half, it will become an even bigger 200 bed facility. Major Mark Thielen House and the Salvation Army will run the permanent shelter. We'll have a low barrier side on one side and a clean and sober on the other. I think we'll be able to get everyone that wants to get help will be able to get the help they need. And that goes for recovering addict and part-time painter Russell Meisch, who hopes to picture himself one day as sober and clean for good. I think it's a beautiful thing. Now, Mayor Mark Chandler says the price tag of the permanent shelter will be $3 million and operated with grant money obtained by the city.